Hello, Katia users. So, this is going to be a series of videos on creating a coffee mug. Sounds simple, but it's primarily for my students at Central Michigan University in the product design uh, engineering technology program. So, this is part of a class on surface modeling, and I require my students to follow best practices for working with bodies and also with surfaces. So, I have other videos out there that talk about this a little bit, but I want to show you what the, the model is going to look like in the end. Some of my own terminology for best practices that aren't necessarily Katia terminologies, of course, and the way I do bodies. So, so as an example here, I got a coffee mug. So I, I use a term I call solidified groups. So this has two solidified groups. It has the mug portion, which I'm calling in this example body, and the handle solidified group. So mug or actually body solidify group, body solidify group, handle solidify group. And if you look in my tree, my part tree, so I've got Boolean operations, I got the part body, I got a finished part body, I've got an add body, and I've got my two solidify groups under here. So the first solidify group is the body, and it's a thickened surface here, um, and then with a tritangent added at the top. So, and then the handle, is a closed surface handle union trim this time because I've trimmed off some overlap and um, I think I took that handle and just extruded the ends just a little bit I can see the thickness option there so it so looks like I did a, a closed surface added some thickness to the ends and then did a union trim and then finally a fillet at the end so that's what my body looks like so I'm creating really two surfaces here I'm creating this surface for the thick I'm creating this surface for the handle so I'm going to hide my part body so you can see my services a little better. Let's look at the body solidify group and the way I organize it. So there's my final surface. That's going to be the surface that's solidified. So I have a geometric set I call body. And notice how that matches with my body up here. That's my best practice I follow. Then I have three sub-geometric sets. One called body surface. Surfaces go in here. One called body reference for any reference elements and one called body wireframe for any wireframe entities. So I only have one surface here and that's easy. It's just a revolved surface in here. So there it is. And really just a spline for the wireframe. So that's, that's easy. So that's a surface for the body. So for the handle, let me unhide that one. Hopefully there's not a lot of overlap. Yeah, so the way I did this one, I probably would approach it a little different next time, but notice it's coming not merged in with the surface. I wanted to use the thickness tool apparently. Uh, normally I would just overlap this in when I did the Boolean trim. But n notice what's happening here. So I've got uh, my handle gym, my handle solidify group, again my term. I've got handle wireframe, handle surface, and handle reference. In this example, I'm not using sketches, and sometimes I don't allow my students to use sketches. I want them to get used to making shapes, especially with a spline tool. So you see an ellipse here, but it's created with a spline, and you have another spline up here, which is going to be the guide curve or the yeah, the other guide curve for the sweep. So that's created. I have a sweep, which is probably just a simple with reference surface sweep, uh, explicit profile within the GSD workbench. So that's been solidified into this closed surface and then apparently I thickened the end so I could get some overlap. So that's what the the geometric sets are looking like. So my remaining videos I will talk about the surface modeling here and then also the solid modeling that goes along with it.